What is up, you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. This video will contain spoilers for Hawkeye, so if you haven't seen the show yet or you're not caught up on episodes, be sure to watch the latest, come back, and then you can watch this video spoiler-free. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to build the main characters from the second episode of Hawkeye using 100% official LEGO parts and pieces. Now, there are some cases where figures are wearing the same outfit as the first episode, so I'm not going to cover those again. You can go back and check out my episode one segment to see those. This video will just be focusing on new outfits that debuted in this episode, and new characters, of course. So with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so we get to see Kate Bishop in a very cool trench coat with a purple undershirt. So there's not a more perfect option for that than using Snape from Harry Potter. Of course, that gets you the legs, torso, give her a little brown bow there. And then the hair I used is just some black hair, came in Lego City, lots of other places. And the face is from Cora from Lego Tron. And then, of course, we've got a little Labrador there for Lucky the Pizza Dog. Pretty awesome. We briefly see Clint get to go undercover as a firefighter to get into Kate's burnt apartment. So to build that, I just used regular black legs, the firefighter torso from Spider-Man Far From Home, and the head and hair combo I've been using for Hawkeye is the sports player Goatse, and he came in the Lego German Football Collectible Minifigure Series. It's pretty rare here in the States, but it works really well for this. One of the funniest parts of the episode to me was seeing those people in Times Square dressed up as like cheesy Halloween costume Avengers charging people for selfies. If you've ever been to New York, that really does happen. And it was pretty funny to see an Avenger react to that in real time. With that being said, it's not super easy to make like a cheesy costume using the purest method. So I just grabbed a couple Avengers and tried my best. The two easiest, I think, were Captain America and Hulk because we have those two masks from Spider-Man Homecoming. So with those two on there, I used Mighty Micro's torsos and then just threw random colored pants on there so that, you know, they look cheesy and didn't look all that great. For Ant-Man, I used the original 2015 Ant-Man minifigure, but I put the Robin face underneath because, again, I just wanted to make the mask look as bad as possible, so I thought that that got that across well. And then for Thor, I did kind of the same thing as Cap and Hulk, except I didn't have a mask for him, so I just made him look exactly how you see him here. Pretty funny, though. It's pretty wild to see LARPing mentioned in the MCU or even shown on screen, but here we are, Hawkeye's leaving no stone unturned. For this, I used the same combo from the very first episode of Hawkeye that I used, which is the Indiana Jones torso with some dark gray legs. I gave him a sword and a little, you know, shoulder armor piece here for his LARPing escapade, and then the face and hair are the same as before as well. So the whole reason Hawkeye goes LARPing in the first place is to get the Ronin suit back from Grills. So I just gave him the Ronin suit from before, which is the legs from Cole from the Lego Ninjago movie. And the torso from an Outrider, but flipped around just to give it a little different design. And the face and hair come from Sam Wilson, and he got a little sword there for his LARPing duel. Here we have Lara Barton, and I just thought I'd throw her in there because she did have kind of like a green Christmas sweater on. So that Christmas sweater is actually Poe's Christmas sweater from the uh, Star Wars Advent calendar last year. And then I just put it on her and flipped it around. So yeah, worked out pretty good. Now, just for some housekeeping, I did love the scene where they were fencing uh, Kate and her mom's fiance, but of course... I don't have the fencing minifigures. They do exist, they are real, but I don't have two of them, let alone one of them, but I would basically just use these as is, just make sure you don't see any yellow hands, but yeah, if I had those, I would have used them. The other thing is, we do get a little tease at Echo at the end of this episode, but I'm gonna wait until next week to build her, because I wanna see what her costume actually looks like in context, and I don't wanna do it just off a quick little tease. So with that being said, let's zoom out and I'll give you my final thoughts on this showcase. Well, thanks for hanging out, guys be sure to hit like and subscribe down below so you don't miss my future hawkeye episodes and you can check out my other content i've covered lots of marvel dc star wars and everything in between so go check those out and i'll catch you guys on the next video well you made it to the end of the video thanks for hanging out with me today and don't forget to hit like and subscribe and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here